So, the other week I did a pastel and watercolour here, which came out quite well, and passed it on to a gallery. And unfortunately the owner of this was very displeased because she wanted it for herself, but she hadn't said. So if she doesn't want to buy it from the gallery, I will paint her another one in um, acrylic, because she looks after us. And I uh, hope to enjoy it.
good. More colour. On the yeah, well, I just want to sh just look at those the techniques of the wet and to wet and show you what I meant about the um, lights. That's all. And you can use it as you wish. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Mary Louise, I have painted a tableau for you, especially of your house. Are you happy? Yes, I am. At last, you prefer this one now to the other. I loved it twice. You want to go at this? Um, seen through here of the uh, the lounge at Anne Marie's because it's rather pleasant, a lovely one to do in oil actually. But um, we we're just talking about doing a watercolour here. Um, and I do a I've done a quick demonstration in a very, very wet in wet technique just to get the effect of light to show how loosely we could paint it. Having been a bit tighter I suppose with that acrylic just now. I'm not going to draw out at all, I'm just going to go straight for effects of light and shape. The delicacy of watercolour, even though this is very strong as watercolour, I don't need to go that strong. And for a loose watercolour, I quite like it as it is. You know, I don't, I wouldn't need to go much further.
Try and have a go at this composition here and take a bit in. And the idea is to paint very quickly and strongly with the watercolour first of all and then um, maybe use pastel over the top afterwards. So let's see how we get on with this. So I want to be quite strong with our this tape's going to come off in the sun, quite strong with our um, paint if I'm going to use pastel over the top. So I'll start with wet into wet. Let's have a look at yours now and see what we can do. Again. Okay, so I've got a basic of watercolour on. I'm going to have a go now at the um, pastel over the top. Unfortunately, there's a thunderstorm right overhead. We'll hear thunder in a minute. 
If it starts to rain, we're going to have to make a run for it, but I prefer to have sun on this. So I haven't got it at the moment. What I wanted to show you is how we can build up these colours over the top here with pastel. Right. Like this. I get a shock at the bright colours that come out. When you just dry enough, I prefer it to be what? a bit drier. Oh. Talking to the camera, I prefer it to be a bit drier. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Isn't it exciting? Isn't it fun? Oh, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't worry me. I'm just wondering about the paints. No, what? Sorry. You can see I can use the light pastel over the top, yeah. you see. So you can bring these colours back and blend them or put them straight over the watercolour and let the watercolour okay. just glow through. You don't want to totally whack your watercolour out. Okay. Let it. Um, use it. No. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> it's fun. You see what I mean? You know, you can work very quickly and bring oh these colours out, you know? That's, that's very dark. Yeah. Which means now if you look at these lights, for instance, I can go back now. As you say, with the watercolour I couldn't do this, but I can now go back into this oh, yeah. and start making these these lights, so which um, are okay, nice and quick to get. Colours and bring them back. It's a lovely way to get colour going in my painting. You can actually draw with the pastel. But I mean, this gives you an effect look straight away. You've seen this one oh, as far as I've got. Now, yeah, I've pulled it back together again. So mm. Now it's a matter of pulling out the lights. What I really need now is for the weather to brighten up and we get the sunshine, then I can really put the colours back in in detail over the top. You should have ordered the better weather. If you come here as your guest and you don't have good weather, it's not to... Uh... <laughs> Now you see we're putting some light blue on here amongst this warmth to mm -hmm. pull the warmth out. So you think something's just going to be, you think it's pink, that's it. It's not. It has one colour next to it. It has another colour going on to bring it out. So immediately the sun comes out, I've got my darks here, which is why I'm saying you need your darks in. And I can now bring the highlights of the light out, the mm -hmm. texture over the top, which when it's flat you just don't see them. But you know it gives lovely effects, so straight away we've got the sun coming. And um, we can start to find these light colours. Yeah, I think it's great. You see how we can work with this, and it's the two ways. Now, some purists would say, well, it's not pastel and it's not watercolour. Oh, no, but what the hell, it's what it is, you know. And why shouldn't we experiment and explore? And... <laughs> more coming. Okay. Actually, my arm's funny, I can't do that. Oh, it really hurts. I was saying, Anne-Marie, that many French prefer that you try and speak some French than not, you know? They don't laugh at you. If you try, they, they prefer you try. Yeah. Did you put your red roses in or you did that later, did you? I've done them at the end. I mean, you know, I do, all the watercolours got to go in first. And then you do the other texturing and then and the grasses and everything else. But the, the bright colours go on at the end, yeah. I'm all of your light, no, final bright, bright colours now. go at the end. Don't, don't try and put the, the bright colours, the roses, everything in now. Okay. Oh, I thought people sprayed and then kept working. You can do, but it's not really a good idea because you get just too much grey and powder. And... Oh, 
all the everybody else had Uber drivers driving up to the door. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to just. You rubbed us up the wrong way as you do with cafe owners. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I nearly dumped me at the metro instead of the C S C N F, what it's called. That was the start of that long epic journey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just waiting for this sky, really. Although I quite like the sky. I oh, I'd leave the sky. <laughs> Might be a bit pale. Yeah. Far she's got with the watercolour, and I've got to leave her getting on with the pastel and hope she uh, manages to follow me in this time. That's it. You'll find them. Say, so look at the different light and darker, the different tones of the green, of the blues too. But look, yeah, that's fine. You keep going. So I think I've gone as far as I'm going to go with that one. So, no. it was August done, it's here. The fishes that we were for, the bon pêcheur, oui. and the grand mer. Oui. <laughs> Très <Yeah. ancien>. <laughs> <laughs> And the picture today, she's just done, and this is good, we think. I haven't Jean finished Pedro. my red roses. So. Oh, finish quick, Ali. I've got a handful of stuff in. <laughs> Put a bit of blue with it, deep blue with it as well, to work and make it strand out a bit more, yeah, that's right. Christine Grillaboard, the gallery in Fresselins, and she's invited us to paint the uh, Coquelicot, the uh, poppies. Um, I'm going to do this with a roller and acrylics, and we're just waiting for the sun to get a little higher to come across the flowers before I photograph and film. But I think I'm going to try a large canvas and get in fairly close to these and do quite big poppies. No point in my photographing yet, really. Well, at the moment, the sun has disappeared but I'm going to start using my different greens to get the background fast. I'm not going to bother drawing, I'm just going to do the big, big basic shapes uh, using the greens first of all. Just damp my roller first of all. So when you're using a roller, you get it damp at the beginning. Don't oh. make it too wet, because okay. if you make it too wet, all your paint just goes sludge. So you just want it damp. Mm -hmm. So when you wash your sponge, make sure you, don't, you dry it out with a towel, okay? Yep. And I'm going to use nice big brushes to mix my paint for this size painting. I could just whack it on with um, with a brush, but today I want to try and get the mid-tones in quick. I'm going to start with a, a sap green. Put the roller through the brush like this. You don't put the um, roller straight into the paint. Oh, okay. So you use the, the paint from your brush as well, you yeah. see. And then it's just a matter of getting going. A bit too sweet, eh? And I'm mixing the colours as I go along. I'm letting some colours come one into another. Um, so that... This is a job where I would have been better off I'd known priming the canvas in green first. Oh, I have. Yeah. Some darker, all these darker yeah, greens and deep browns, <laughs> yeah, and the purples and things. Put them in and use your brush. Now, as you use your brush, use the brush to get the texture, the tip of that mop, to get the texture of these um, fronds. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The okay. uh, yeah. Okay. Oh well, I won't spend long. Yeah, that's the wall, yeah. You'll blink, and I'll have finished the painting. You know? I know. I forgot to look. <laughs> So I'm starting now to add my darker colours, much as you're going to have to do. So what I'm doing here, you're going to have to do with those. Yeah. Oh, 
Let me just show you what I mean. I do hope we're going to get some because it's going to be a lot of nuisance. What you can do with a, with a roller on this size, just working in nice big chunks. Yeah. Starting off like this, yeah. It's amazing what you can get away with, you know. To, It's lovely. It's just, it's just so wonderful to paint, you know, with big, this loose. Yeah. It's just so enjoyable. <laughs> Maybe you might have to do that. Yeah. Wouldn't it? I, I worry about breathing in all the dust. Here what, is they Sennelia or something? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, yeah, I've got um, a big box of hats. So it's to his own taste, I suppose. No, you could have your little trunk part where you've got your dining table and make a little gallery there. Well, there's nobody who comes through that village. There's not much oh, price. Okay. Ça va? Tu penses? Bien. Tu dis pas? Bravo! Le soleil, c'est des problèmes. Ah, pas trop de soleil, non. Je pose. Tu es actually better when you're not posed. Oh, thank you. Well, you can't see my face. Like this, you mean? Yes! C'est lucky I've got a sense of humor. Non, je dis que c'est plus naturel. Je Oh, you're into the French speaking now, you're going to use the French accent. I've got to keep looking and thinking about well, why is something not working? It might not be the colour you think, it might be something else. Well, I think uh, about that one done. I might do a bit more on the oranges here. I don't think I'm going to do much more on that now. Um, just maybe a little bit more with a medium brush on the oranges down here. But Well, I said I was going to do this for the gallery owner, and he comes to collect his painting, the cadeau, to the artist, to the gallery. Merci yeah. beaucoup. <laughs> Just Laverne, c'est fini. Okay. Merci. <laughs> We're just putting on the final darks now, with a little bit of black, just to bring the picture forward. Because the black is very warm, it's almost a very deep brown.
Well, it's rather a dull afternoon and we were going to paint a landscape, but I think it's a bit flat for that. And we've been out this morning already. My student's a bit tired, so I've just come out to set up myself. And I've decided she wanted to try watercolour, so it's a nice idea to have a go at these daisies here with the lupins. So I've set us up two watercolour sheets and we're going to use the Russian paints this time. A bit flat, but I think if we use masking fluid we might get something quite nice out of it. I think this composition could be good. If we take it from here. And there's some nice plants just starting in the garden. Lupins and things are coming through here now. But it's only early yet. It's the 1st of June today. Some plants are already finished as you see. And others are just coming out beautifully. So it's a nice handy place to paint and in a few weeks I think we'll have a lot more flowers out. The first thing I need to do is put masking fluid onto these daisies. So I want to mask them off completely and any light areas that I particularly want to stand out. Um, a few stalks and things in here. Um, I could use a tool for that. Uh, even, a, even a sharpened point of a, of a brush but I want to um, sharpen point at the end of a wooden brush. But this time I, I'd rather be using a brush. This one is in fact called a masking fluid brush. It is an SAA masking fluid brush, so it should take the fluid all right. And I want to get this masking fluid on before my student comes out because I want to have it dry, ready to actually show her how it works. And we're going to paint these daisies out. And these brushes are ideal for daisy shapes. It's fairly humid today, so it'll take a little while for the masking fluid to dry off. Now for my own use, I like the Pebillo masking fluid. Uh, I've tried other ones, including the SAAs, and I found them all to be faulty after a while. They don't like the sun, and they go solid on me, and they've ruined a few paintings. Um, and they, they will clean up as well. I mean, if you get masking fluid on, you can wash it out with water, but if it doesn't come out with water, this one had a bit on it from the past, and I just cleaned it up with white spirit. It came off just fine. And a little bit of soap afterwards, and voila! almost new. So we've done pastel, we've done acrylic, we've done pastel in two ways and now we're having a go at a nice strong loose watercolour. So that's it, that's my masking fluid ready. And uh, is now putting masking fluid on as I did for you about uh, two hours ago. Um, we're going to get this very loose watercolour done and tighten up as we go along. So normally we go from loose to tight but in this case we're going to go from a bit tighter doing the masking fluid to too loose afterwards. Paints we're going to be using the Russian paints today, the Sony paints. In watercolour we're working from light to dark. So as, as opposed to what you've just been doing, the pastels and acrylics where you can work dark to light, here we can't go back and forwards unless we put a white paint on mm -hmm. or we use the masking fluid to come back to the white later. Okay. So I've got to start with my lightest colours here. Sometimes it's nicer to mix the colour on the paper than actually in the palette. So for instance, if you want a lovely orange, we can put the yellow on and drop red into it, which will give us a much brighter orange and mixing the orange and the, the red and the yellow together, which will give us a muckier orange. So, so when I do my greens, for instance, here, I'm going to go straight, in this case, for a nice light lemon yellow. And I want to get these lighter lemon yellows in behind here. Let's see where these leaves are. So immediately I want a nice wash of this lemon yellow going on behind is quite a strong now that's the blue I want it's like a um, cerulean no uh, well, turquoise more of a turquoise oh. so I'm going to drop that yeah, in cool blue, behind here already into that yellow I, like so that I, I want to cool it's a lovely blue yeah but nice and delicate was well, it that one no it was this one oh. here okay, so yeah. now, if you're just touch them onto a bit of scrap paper or something just to find out so I'm going to work up a vignette now bringing that blue into this yeah, my green as I go I was along. Wondering, then. You weren't wondering. Yeah. <laughs> Think what? <laughs> right. I better not speak. <laughs> you're learning. You're learning. Um, so right around this flower now, because the paint is wet, it's going to spread out. So if we do them too close, they'll just vanish. Great effect there. It looks seaweed. And as the paper dries, our marks become right. 
Did you want to loop them right hmm? No, it's going to work a little bit more dark into this in places before we go on. Right, now we're going to try and get this masking fluid off. Sometimes it comes off with the finger and sometimes it doesn't. This is a very warm day and warm muggy days or sun on masking fluid is not a good idea. It tends to stick. So I find a cloth like this moves it fairly sharply. Probably better than the finger does once you get it going. But even this is in the warmth and the sun. Tinting them. Now the shadows on the daisies are going to be very subtle. And there might be a very light blue or even a cream or even a light green in places. You've got to be quite careful with this now. And it's a blue. It's in between some of these petals now more carefully. Okay. So I'm going to go in between quite carefully like this and pick out where the, they're not on all of them. Again, I've got to look at each and every each and every one of them to get this right. Uh, I'm going to start picking out these individual. See how we can just pick them out like that, and not all of them have it. Not all of them, some of them have a broken line like this. You see the differences in greys and that. Mm -hmm. Now, then we go to the middle of the flower. If I take that yellow that we used earlier, the very light lemon yellow, and this one, whichever doesn't really matter, mm -hmm. and I'm going to drop the light colour in first. So, yep. quite strongly, I'll do quite thick, quite opaque for this job. Then I'm going to take some of my more orangey yellow mm -hmm. and wet into wet, drop that in, top there, and then I'm going to go a little bit greener around the edge. That's not a very nice green. Um, that's finished with, is it? So you wash no, it no, I'm going okay. to still. I'm going to do right. a little bit right. work, work on uh, that. Now I've seen that. And a little bit greener around that bottom edge. So I take a little bit of this green, just. Let that green go, dropping back into here. Oops, don't want that. The shadow there, that's okay. We do want a bit of green on the edge of that. You see how that green works on there as well? Because yeah. you think the shadow wouldn't be green, but quite often it is. Not just the pinks, it's, it links it with the rest, you see. Yeah. That's a little bit of a fight. Quite <laughs> well, Maybe, I don't know. Your wife, she said with great disdain. Yeah. <laughs> your, your wife? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had to do is say in the main bedroom, which is main down the end, like for 10 minutes and ring up and do a few things. Yeah, you know, they're getting more personal without, they can't do certain things they can't do. Can I just rub a, a little bit of those with a proper rag? Because my finger seems... Proper rag? I don't know. Like. I've got a snotty rag. Oh. I not blow my nose on that yet. You're all right. This is a, um, I've never torn paper before. And yeah, like you said, don't, the just don't make excuses. It's oh, okay, yeah. I understand. Oh, yeah. That's the, um, <laughs> it must be, is it the sweat or something? Mm. No, it's just a very strong... Pigment, yeah. yeah. But it's nice when you're doing something dark against light like this. Get that, um, <laughs> does she do? What else does she do? <laughs> to teach you to get you to look. Well, 
if you want. Okay, yeah. so we've done a watercolour with masking fluid and it's very successful, I think. Actually, you know, it's come out very well, I think. I think people on the on the uh, in, in YouTube and so on will really love it. Excusez-moi. Bon appétit, messieurs, dames. Ah, uh, merci. Oui? So, you have your snails at last that you wanted. Yes, I had to. Excellent. So, you have the veal, and I think it should be very good. Yes. And I have a nice piece of steak. So, Margaret has her palette of the artist. The best palette she's had this week to paint with, she says. Okay, Margaret, we've just been for a lovely meal. Thank you very much. And we're at the end of our. Is it 10 days you've had or so? Um, I think it was about 12 in the end. In the end, yeah, because you had an extra, done. that's right. Although one day I sat on a train all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the strike's going on, so we've got to watch out for that. But it's been a lovely time. It's almost like part of the family now. Yep. Um, I feel like I'm living home. Well, <laughs> that's right. But the best thing of all, which, which the proof of the pudding is in eating, as they say, is that you're talking about coming back for a second battle with the painting. Yes. And you've, been, you've worked me really hard. You've had me painting with you every yes. day, sometimes <laughs> two paintings a day. Um, and you've, I think, achieved a lot, haven't you? Well, how yes. do you feel? Yeah, I feel I've learned quite a bit, and I'll go home and um, practice and do painting of the Colorado mountains. So Which we've learnt, we've used watercolour, pastels, acrylics, Acrylic. mixed media, yeah. plus all sorts of different we've things. Done, um, water and pastel, like yep. watercolour and pastel. Mm -hmm. We've done pastel with water and put pastel on top. And we've, put, we've done block and blended, and we've used the acrylics with Use both sponge finger, roller, yep, <laughs> sponge rollers and brushes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gardens. I think you've enjoyed taking some uh, of the vegetables from the garden as you've been yep. here and enjoying that. You're a little bit early this year for that, mm -hmm. but you've been enjoying the spinach at least. And it's peaceful, isn't it? It's so peaceful here. Tranquil. And I prefer this time of year anyway. It's cooler. Yeah. I don't really think I could sit out in the fields when it's 100 degrees or 40 degrees. 40 Celsius, is that? I get mixed up. So overall, you're very happy? Yes, I am. <laughs> Anything else you wish to say? Yes. Um, Accommodation was okay? Yeah, it's a very um, nice, homely, casual atmosphere. I paint when I wanted to, as much as I wanted to, which was great. And I've learned quite a bit. And the humour's good? <laughs> yes, the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> And the cooking was just okay in between. You've had a nice roast dinner. You wanted the pork crackling, which you got. Yes, I got a pork meal. Tonight you've been out and had your snails that you wanted to have again. Yeah. And I filled the fridge, or you filled the fridge with um, gourmet cheeses. And, and all sorts you wanted, yeah. Olives. Um, but you're not really a wine drinker, so that wasn't... We've got plenty of wine left for the next I guest. I enough wine for the... <laughs> yeah, I don't drink much wine now. I think I had about two glasses of wine. I'm a coffee drinker. Yes, I had nice coffee every morning, even though it was a funny old Millenix that made good coffee. <laughs> good ground coffee. Anything else you'd recommend about us? Um. <laughs> Hard to think now. <laughs> I've just had um, some wine and a big meal, so I can't think of it. You're absolutely whacked and you've been packing ready for going tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, that's right. But you're well relaxed, yeah. so you're built beautiful up for scenery. it. Um, saw some lovely um, creeks and um, beautiful fields and animals. So there's a lot I haven't done, I haven't painted any animals. Um, I'm not good enough to do cafe scenes. <laughs> you did a cafe scene, you've done a... What cafe scene? Uh, well, a bus scene, it's almost the same. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the style you did, or the style I did that in, sorry, the style you did that in, yes, and um, was certainly the same I as for a cafe. did a little bit on the... Um, you've done your <laughs> family as well, yep. yeah. But now, the thing is, you've, you've learnt the techniques and you've learnt how to use the tools yeah. as well. And to look, and to look for colour. <laughs> Indeed, looking is the important thing, yeah. yeah. Seeing colour and getting the drawing. We taught you how to scale up and measure out things as well. Yeah, that was really good, um, which I've probably learned to scale. And you've learned how to hold a brush differently. Yes. All these things <laughs> that suddenly come holding a brush at the end rather than the... That's right, right. Yeah. All these little things that will come to, to, to fruition when you, when you go away and try them on your own that you've forgotten. You've learned There's so much we've covered in the week, really. Well, you've taken a video of a lot of the things yeah. we did, so I can actually go... Go back on that, yeah. Again. Yeah, so one of the highlights was um, all the cherry trees around, visiting Anne-Marie and her family, um, going to a traditional French home for dinner, having a lovely uh, French meal in the fields, and I certainly liked eating the cherries off everybody's cherry tree. <laughs> right then, um, well, we better let you rest and get packed and finished off I'm before we packed, yes. take you off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been lovely having you here, it's been a pleasure for me as well. Yes. You can pay me for saying that later, extra. <laughs> Right, off we go.